ready for the next battle. When he get when he if he ever gets to the higher ranks, he's gonna get absolutely just schooled, and he'll have to learn how he he, he doesn't know how to do any combos of the war hits. He doesn't actually know how that works, and you think he would because he does the combo so much, but he still he, he never did a wall bounce combo once. I'm not criticizing him, by the way. I'm, ju I'm just saying, like, he'll get destroyed against guys much better than me, and it'll hopefully force him to change his style, and he'll actually learn how it all works, instead of relying on the same combos. That'll probably be me, then. You know, because, to be fair, right, I'm not... And the reason I'm not bitching at him is because I know I do exactly the same thing with Alyssa. I find one or two moves and I just keep fucking doing them because I'm stupid. And that's why I get that's why I get schooled by higher players. That's what I'm saying. You know, because I've been there. Eventually his luck will run out and it will be forced to Kind of do something else. I think I think the advantage you'll have is probably is is like input like execution is probably much better than me anyway. So that that'll be good. That that'll be an advantage for him. Does that make sense? Oh, it's stupid. Fuck, I messed up. What? Oh, heat move, I guess. At least with this guy, he knows what his wall bounces are, and he'll do the combos. I'm not really sure about just activating heat blowing through moves. But then again, I guess that does make sense. I don't know. Fight. How is that not a punish? Take it. There you go. Round two. Fight. Really? That was a clean punish. Really? Oh my god! No way. Four freaking clean punishes there, you never should have gotten a million years. What do I know? <laughs> No punish. He got to fucking continue like 
I'll continue the combo, but he got to instantly recover and start hitting me again. What the fuck? No punish. <laughs> The heat running is worthless. It is absolutely worthless aside from using throw. Up. Oh no. The throw whiffed straight through his body, and I got robbed, and now I'm dead. Bullshit. The throw whiffed straight through his body for some reason. Oh my god. Sometimes this game can be real bullshit. Oh no. There's no point using it, you think? I'm gonna die. I'm not entirely sure on Jun losing health. I don't know. I don't think it affects her that much, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but... I don't know if I really like that mechanic too much get ready for the next battle oh great thing i'm gonna have no idea how to fight this one <sighs> i'm sorry i'm not angry i'm just i'm just having a bitch for no reason <laughs> let's do this Round one. Fight. nice I was just really pissed about the fact that the throw just whiffed through Lee's body for some reason. You know? Why, why did that happen? I was right there. I couldn't have missed. Apparently the game just made it whiff. Oh nice, I didn't know he could do that. Okay. Give me that. See, at least with Jun, it doesn't feel like every move she does gets beaten. Unlike Alyssa. But I think, I think usually, like, most of Alyssa's big moves do big damage, you know? Whereas Jun's don't. I don't think she has these moves that do big damage. She doesn't do big damage normally, so, you know, with her, it's, it's what I would like Alyssa to be. I would like her to be quicker on doing her moves, even if that means she has to do less damage. I'll take it. But I don't want every move I do with her to get beaten. And that's what it felt like. At least with June, it doesn't feel like that. Not nearly as... Excuse me, not nearly as much anyway. Oh, that did a lot of damage, dude. Oh, my God. I don't think I like the damage that Jack cat, most characters in general do, though, to be honest. I'd rather have it load for everyone. There's guys like Paul and Law and Alyssa and even Jun and Feng right now. High damage. 
I'm dead. Probably gonna be game as well. Or at least close. My god, what's that like 40%? Why is the screen shaking so hard? Jesus Christ. I was lucky to get a win out of that. No, that's gonna get blocked. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't think I deserve that. Nice. You got shitty. Oh my god. That pushed me a long way, dude. That's wild. Nice. I don't mean it's gonna hit. Nope. Good block. That's why I mean my execution is just such garbage. Oh. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't think I deserve that, but I'll take it. I'll take the win. Like I said, at least with Jun, I feel like I'm like okay, you know? It's not like every move she does gets beaten. You know, if that had been Alyssa, I would have been destroyed. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, more five looms of doom lore. Nonsense. <laughs> okay, maybe now. Come and get some, I dare you. Hmm. Round one. Fight. <laughs> And I'll take it. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Yes. That was a good move. He did a really good back dash, I think, back there. Nice. Good punish. Oh no. I should have anticipated it. Wow, he got lucky. He got everything he wanted on that one. He even got the fucking bounce. So I think that's legit. I don't think I've had that myself. Really is just the same technique that you laws all your laws use. And that's just the way he is. Can't fight him, can't fight him, fuck it. Take your win, buddy. I was gonna take it anyway, doesn't need me to stand there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There needs to be... I don't think the characters need a nerve. I think the damaging does. The damage scaling is wild in this game. It's, it's almost non-existent. 
you know, on Street Fire sometimes that they'll scale damage and, or Dragon Ball Fighters where they'll start scaling the damage a little bit. There's none of that in this game. You could do a legit fucking 80% combo off just one launcher or one move and there'll be no scaling for it whatsoever. Of course, his beats mine. Cause it's the five moves of fucking doom. Fight. I can't. There's nothing you can do against that. And even if you block it, it would just be pushed back on on the block stud and just be open for him to attack you anyway. Got him, I think. No! No, he just moved forward, alright. I got faint out. I'll take it. I thought he was gonna do a move, so. I think Law, Paul, and Brian are too good off the wall, too. Damage scaling needs to be nerfed. It's too heavy. I think the one thing this game does do right, and I have noticed this, is if you do a repeat move at any point, eventually, like, the game will do a thing where they push a character too far back so you can't continue the combo anymore. I think that's where a lot of people are using heat, they are using heat to reset ready for the next battle. and then do the same combo again. That could be what's happening, although I don't I don't understand how this game works and yeah. It's not even like that is week one of the game. I would still be one year into the game, I'd still not understand anything about it. Round one. <laughs> I think I might have moved. Yep. And that's gonna be game. Look at that fucking potential damage uh, Jim has there. Wow, how did he get that? Take it. Thanks, love. Just do all the wrong moves. I'll take it. I don't think I deserve it, but... But the burning heat thing is useless. I think I got him. Yep. I saw it come up on the screen. I think I'm still dead, but he's damaged. I'll take it. I was doing that traditionally. To, uh, I was doing that initially to get away from the wall. Shit. 
shit. No punish, really? Oh, fuck. Screwed that up. Confirm damage. Oh, no, no. I screwed up. Look how hard he was mashing. You can see how hard he was mashing on air combos. Yes, let's go. Sometimes my execution can be decent. <laughs> it's not often, but it does work. See, I I understand why the speciality like moves are there, but I think they'll be limiting. I think eventually, I think they'll probably stop. People will probably stop using them unless they for whatever reason. It's like model controls. It really is like model controls. Like, at some point, some people will eventually learn the game that much that they'll have them turned off. But I think it's nice to have the option there. I don't think spe uh, special, like, scheme is really as... What's the word? I don't think it's as game changing as modern controls. At least from what I've known, but I've, I've, I've barely ever used it because I, I don't really need it. That's gonna hit me. Oh no. I'll take it. I can see the attempt he was trying to do. It's amazing how he even got that out, to be honest. Take it. You win. I do think Tekken as a whole is where I can execute best though. I would say that. I would say this series is my best in terms of being able to execute things. It's not in the really long combos and the and the ground bounces and the resets that all these other people do, but I think it's better. You know, I, I think I stand with people better in this game. In this series, probably, as a whole, actually. Does that make sense? Like, Get ready for obviously, I won't be pulling off any of the 15 hit combos bouncing off the wall, uh, off the floor, comboing more into the wall, and then doing more combos after that. That's that's never happening in a million years, but at least I can execute somewhat, you know? I don't know whether that's experience or be just getting slightly better. <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit, it's a combo throw, I need to... Nice buttons. Oh no. You did, you did, you did. Round two. Fight. Shit. Oh no. Fight. Shit. 
Nice move. Good move. Probably a better thing to do, actually. Why can I not take that? Oh man, look at that potential damage. I, I soaked up three hits and that did so much damage to me still. No potential damage, recoverable health. What I meant. GG man, King's gonna be tough. King, King's another one who's gonna be really hard. It's probably gonna be like low end, top tier, mid tier, top, if that makes sense. I didn't even want to throw, okay. Nice. Oh, good grab. Nice. Nice. Round three. Fight. Oh no. Oh no, I jumped into it. Well, I'm dead. It's my bad. Yeah, put moved. Oh god. Press the button, I'm an idiot. That's a slow move. Oh, I got rough. Damn it. I probably should have won that, my bad. I honestly don't know how I was even able to guard that right there. Ugh. Why did he get a hit out of a mid move when I was like, lying on the ground? Does that actually work? Nice, good faint out. My god. King's Froze does so much damage. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be among the better games, uh, characters in the game, simply because of the damage scaling though. Like I said, I think the damage scaling will get nerfed. It feels really fucking powerful. That's definitely going to be a point of, a talking point. You know, once people actually figure it out, maybe that'll be a talking point and something that they might have to address. Because to me, it, there's a lot of potential, even potential damage, like potential health. You know, it still does a lot of damage to you because now you've got to figure out how to regain the health. And I think Froze is probably the only thing to do that, which is such a strange thing to me. I'm not sure if I agree with that too much. Get ready for the next battle. All right, we have Raina next. Stage user is D. Yeah, I can see a lot of people getting like stage user kind of ranks. Because using the stages is definitely a thing. Another one with uh, using the Raina with the thing on her in like 
the mask. There was a time when Jung fucking used to actually do, like, fight and not fucking stand. I fucked up. <laughs> okay, it was a trade, but it was almost like she got the advantage of the trade. I mean, in all honesty, I think I should have tanked her, but... Round three. Fight. I can never take that move. I like the intention. That was really well done. You just missed. Of course, he's now run to special style controls. Not that that's a bad thing. That move is really unsafe. What? Okay. Fight. I mean, in all honesty, I should have won that much sooner. So. Oh shit! See. I said what I said earlier, but I still have more instances when my execution is bad. Nice move. Oh wow, that beats it. Oh my god, look at the health, man. Will we get it? Nope. I win. I was fortunate. You win. It's funny because activating Rage Art and it getting blocked doesn't do any chip damage, which I find a little odd. Next battle. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, another law, of course. Round one. Uh, got the Mooka Jean thing in the background. The Iron Man. Let's count how many times he'll do flip, either flip kick or side launch kick. Oh, there's one. There's another. It's the same pattern with more every single time. He actually did the flying kick there, so there's one of those as well. Oh, fudge! I was trying to do Rage Art. Uh, not Rage Art, he.
Lola even has a launcher as a throw. As if character launchers weren't good enough already, now Lola has a throw as a launcher. Same patented law. Never in my life did I think we would have a flowchart character in fucking Tekken. But law is it. Tekken 8 law is it. Nice. Well, I messed that up. God. Oh, Law is so dumb. Why is he so patented? He's been this way since Tekken 7, bro. Round one. Five moves of Doom, Flowchart Law. Never in Tekken did I think we'd have seen it in anyone. Okay, that's nice. I'll give you that. Why did he why did he beat me just standing? Why? Why is that a thing? Why is it just random moves could just beat a standing blocking opponent? Same patented stuff everyone does with Law now. Oh great. The wall hit actually screwed me over. I'll take it. Nice. Oh, come on, I couldn't punish a move there. He got to actually hit me off of it. That's the hallmarks of a broken character. Fight. He misses a move, I go in to punish the missed move, he gets to recover instantly and attack me. I went to block the low, it didn't block. What? I'm not moving, dude. I'm not pressing a button there. Yes, launch throw. I think I feel about it. Yes. Lay down. I'll take it. Oh, come on, why did that not hit? Nice. Nice. I'm not even getting a chance to not move and I'm still getting hit even though I'm not even moving. Ah, oh, same patented law nonsense. We have a flowchart character in Tekken, lads. It's been a while. To be fair, you know, Law was never this bad, but now he's turned into fucking flowchart Ken. It's like, great. Battle. I mean, to be fair, it's probably... It, Paul and Law are going to be basically Ken and Ryu at this point now. Because Paul does the same thing. So it's Paul and Law are basically Ken and Ryu of Tekken now. Oh, great. <laughs>